you want to start with a little margarita and they got tacos here so oh we're about to play a game What's up guys, it's Fatty Manta here from Real Results Fitness and uh, we are in the I Want to Be a Fake Natty series but the Game Changer series, uh, the Fitness Game Changer series is over so it's kind of overlapping and I'll link you guys all around here in it but I just wanted to share with you guys uh, what I completed. So I started at 20.7% body fat and I ended at uh, even 14% body fat. And guys, I was done, you know, I'll be honest with you, I wasn't even really pushing myself on the macros and going too hard. Like I was pretty, I guess you could say lackadaisical on it. And uh, the things that helped me is I was, uh, I was fairly active and I, I continued to stay moving, but I don't wanna, bore you guys too much with that you guys can watch that video that that we did on the uh, conclusion video of the uh, fitness game changer uh, but I'm actually headed over to uh, a friend's baby shower so you guys are starting to see you know I want to share with you guys a different side of me uh, that you guys may have not seen in the past so I honestly don't know what kind of food that they are gonna have over there uh, so I just fasted the whole day. Um, it's about to be close to two right now, but um, I'll share with you guys. Maybe get some video on the inside. Uh, if it doesn't make anybody uncomfortable, you know, don't want to make any of the family uncomfortable. But uh, yeah, that's gonna be it. Hopefully, I could uh, get some video on the inside, and if not video, I'll at least you know take that mandatory picture of my food. See you guys in there. Oh, yeah, yeah. Taco man. Alright, you want to start with a little margarita? And they got tacos here. So, oh, we're about to play a game. Two chicken, some rice and beans. We grab some chips. You saw the little margarita, and then uh, oh, oh got hey. Lance. Hey, What's Lance on the camera. Here? Hey, salute. Trying to get my taco on. Too. I got, I got some tacos. I might get a quesadilla you later. Want to talk but... tacos? Yeah, man, let's do it. What you got? Two I got two beans. Yeah. Let's do what we do. Two beans. We're gonna do this. Maybe burrito later. Yeah, let's do that. All right, so you guys saw some of what was there. Uh, it was a surprise to me, just like it was for you guys, so I ended up getting a total of uh, five tacos, three uh, quesadilla, sorry, three carne asada tacos, and two chicken tacos, one um, steak quesadilla, and a piece of cake, and then, uh, oh, that, that one uh, margarita that you guys saw, so... 
yeah not not too bad of a day um, I'll probably have like maybe a, a tiny meal and a little snack to finish the day but um, you know I won't really record that because you know to be straight up with you guys I'm tired <laughs> so um, yeah you guys saw man it's 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 not about like like if you're still on the pursuit to lose weight or, or cut fat or whatnot, you know, you, you just gotta make some smarter choices. Like there was a lot of snacks over there that I had to say no to. Um, surprisingly, or luckily I should say, a lot of the snacks over there were, were healthy snacks. So they had uh, strawberries and pineapples for snacks and then peanuts. But I just grabbed like less than a handful of, uh, of peanuts. Um, to kind of just hold me off and then uh, just drank water had the one margarita one margarita didn't get faded or anything so that's another thing man you, you can't go ham on the alcohol and expect a lot of gains but yeah you know got the time I got to enjoy time with my friends uh, close friends and then uh, you know still on my path to uh, to hit that uh that that physique and that look that i want so you know it's not it's not unattainable that you could do it guys so if i could do it you could do it trust me you would ask my friends i like to eat more than i'll say 99 percent of the people out there i love to eat uh so if i could do it you guys can definitely do it all right guys that's going to conclude this video Thanks for watching. Uh, if these if these videos have been helping you guys to kind of understand how to like sustain a healthy lifestyle while still building muscle in the gym, make sure to share it with your friends, guys. Don't be stingy. Don't hold out on them. Share it with your friends. Uh, really helps the channel grow. And don't forget to uh, show a thumbs up down below. Make sure to like it, comment, and subscribe. And I'm gonna see you guys on the next video. All right, guys, so here are the final stats. So as you see, I started at 203, uh, and then I weighed in a few times. So 198, dropped to 193.2, 189.3, and my final weight was 189.6. Uh, skeletal muscle mass. So, you know, and these are all averages, guys. And, you know, we just use this as forms of measurement. Nothing is definite. So I try not to go too crazy with these numbers or thinking about these numbers. But apparently I started at 92.8. Went up in skeletal muscle mass, 96.33 or 96.3. And uh, ended with 93.9. Um, so not, not too bad. Even if this was my actual starting point, about what's that three uh 3.6 pounds lost in skeletal muscle mass during the cut it's kind of to be expected and the final number percentage body fat so 20.7 percent body fat uh dropped to 15.8 oh i didn't even know that i guess i hit 13.7 at one point but uh ended up climbing back at 14. So this is over about a 12 week period guys again i try not to think um i try not to think about it too much and and uh overthink it so these are just forms of measurement and uh, it's just one other way to hold myself accountable that's what it did for me more than anything is just made sure to hold me accountable because i knew on certain dates i was gonna have to go back into to that uh neutral shop store and get that body fat tested so I wanted to uh, to make sure that I got better or or you know I was maintaining it at the very minimum to uh, to get better basically so um, that's what it does for you most and when you guys are measuring at home that's what you should be doing as well don't go crazy over the numbers because it could fluctuate from day to day you know as far as like skeletal muscle mass and things like that if you ate if you haven't ate if you've taken in a lot of water uh, if you're taking in a lot of sodium so again just forms of measurement guys and then what you want to do when it's all said and done is kind of get an average of it all